Hello guys, me Carl Santos aka Happy Carl957 and welcome to another edition of NASCAR Heat 5 Career Mode. So, as the title says, it says Easy Atlanta Sweep for the race weekend. So, uh, I might have gobbled up my words there. Let's just say Easy Atlanta Weekend Sweep. There you have it. <laughs> so, Here's my qualifying lap in the nine, number 98 Stuart Haas Ford, just replacing Chase Briscoe, you know, and mm -hmm. kicking him out of the ride that I'm in, in right now, so. Ooh, Ford seems so nervous. You know, it's, <laughs> I shouldn't be hitting the wall during qualifying, I'm telling you, but I know I have the car under me to like take me to the front I'm telling you so yeah I forgot to turn on the light so let's see what my lap time is 31.403 qualified dirtieth hmm. really poor qualifying laps so so Let's see if I move up. Yep, move one spot up to 29th. So Harrison Burton, your pole winner. McLaughlin has to go to the back because of an engine change. And Dross Balicki failed pre race inspection. So let's see if I can move up to the front from 29th place. So. Let's strap in and hang on. So, and the green flag is out. We are racing at Atlanta. So, okay, so my goal here is to not get any fender damage right from the start. So, I know that the cars ahead of me are way slower than the guys in the Cup Series. So, I got confidence that I'll just mow, in, mow them down and just. Move on up. That's all. Hmm. What will that be? So two lap. After the second lap, I'll fast forward to the end of the race so you guys don't get bored of me talking and talking and realizing that some of the best highlights is when most of the commentating is quiet. So. So let's see, I get ahead of Landon Castle and I think it's Cesar Baccarilla and Timmy Allen. So I'll fast forward to the end of the race for the Xfinity guys and do it right now. So we're back. So I guess this was the restart. So yeah, I bet I bet there was a caution back then, and realized that Austin Cindric is one of the drivers that I have to compete for the title. So oh well, that's it is what it is. So. Okay, six to go. Or five. Yeah, let's just say six to go. And, and you, as you see, 
Once I pass out some Cindric, I just drove away, you know, because my car setup is really adapted very well, you know. And, ooh, Austin Cindric passed into the inside of me, so. <laughs> Man, this is great racing, I'm telling you. And Brandon Jones, too, so. <laughs> Like some rubbing racing at a 1.5 mile racetrack at Atlanta, you know I would. Ooh. Man, I just like racing. I'm telling you, <laughs> this is what it's like, you know. Oh man, who, who's it? Uh, yep, Ryan C trying to pass me again. Whew. I'm not gonna give up and try to figure out how to get by them, that's all. Yeah, just hang on to the outside lane and you'll get there real soon. And literally, that's what I've been trying to do. And actually. I'm gonna cross over and go to the inside of INC and see if I can chase Brandon Jones and Austin Cindric for leaving. So, not afraid to use a bumper and Brandon Jones slides up the track. And three wide in the finish line. And I guess I drive away, that's all. Oh well, let's see. If I am... Hmm... What is this? Okay, lap 40. Yep. We're coming to the white flag lap and... Let's see if... Oh man. Can't you believe that? A green white checker. I thought I was gonna win the race, but... Man, the race not done yet. <laughs> Let's just see if I can hold these guys off. Yeah, I I got a good gap. I can just cruise on in and win this race. That's all. Okay. I don't know. <sighs> uh, sorry, I'm daydreaming. <laughs> uh, I just realized it's just a Solid race, you know, and you know, didn't want the video clip to be that long, so it's only 30 minutes. So, so here I am, winning my first race at Atlanta and winning it in the Xfinity, Xfinity series with a speed rating of 100. Not bad. And here is my burnout. Let's see some of the highlights from the Eco Park. Uh, how many miles is it? 200? <laughs> or 250? Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Picking some of the best highlights. Yep, yeah, I passed for 6. And I restart fourth on one of the restarts. And I try to punt Brandon Jones out of the groove and yep, three wide right there. And I'm gonna drive away for the win, so 
if you guys want to watch the NASCAR Cup Series, my YouTube channel from Atlanta, stay right here and I'll post it up real soon. So go ahead and watch. So we're back. Atlanta Motor Speedway, one of the greatest race tracks on the planet. So, let's see if I can master this track, I'm telling you. Especially this is the Cup Series and you have to learn how to not make any mistakes, you know, and that's what it'll take to get the weekend sweep, you know. So I'm in Kevin Harvick's number four car for the year, and actually, that is a good thing because I just dominated, or should I say, dominate this racing season since Stuart Haas is one of the top teams right now. You know, and besides his teammates, I think Harvick will give me some guidance on. How to really do well in qualifying in the race? It's he. He's been doing that since 2014. That's all. So there's my lap time: 29.810. Qualifying 20th, not bad. So I found an easier way to qualify up front in in the mile and a half race tracks, and that is raise the camber on the left side I believe and then yeah raise the camber on the left and then the right depending on what racetrack it is and then you can actually put tape on it too along with tire adjustments like air pressures and all that so here in the stories of the race, which I didn't breeze through while I was talking to you guys about how to do well in qualifying, so. So here I am in 20. Let's see where I is. Yep, I start 20. And Ty Dillon's on my left side, so. So here we go, and. Here we roar. The first lap of at, at the Atlanta racetrack. <laughs> For the running of the Folds of Honor 500. So, <laughs> just want to take it very slowly. So, 
There's my teammate Cole Custer passing me for 20, 20th place. So. See if I can uh, follow him, him through the pack and see if I can actually be a contender at the races in, I'm telling you. Hmm. Okay, just run the high lane, you know. I hope Eric Jones holds them up. But I know you're my teammate, Cole Coster. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, who you just passed me? Daniel Suarez. Man. Daniel, you're supposed to be in the back of the pack, man. You're Gump Brothers race team. Yeah. Yeah, you can just run in mid pack. If you want. <laughs> I mean, you're not supposed to be that fast. <laughs> oh well, yeah, at least pass Eric Jones for 20th. Hmm. Okay, now I'm gonna pass you back for 19th, Daniel. Okay, let's see. So I'll uh, fast forward to the end of the race. Hope you guys enjoyed the rest of this cup race so far and hopefully you'll find the end of the race interesting. So see you guys in a matter of 20 laps ahead. So I know it's 55 but I'm going to fast forward it to 20 laps. So.
Okay, lap 77. Five to go. Past the lap down cards. It's pretty David Reagan. And you know, if you haven't watched my YouTube videos lately, under the NASCAR Heat 5 playlist, I got screwed, I'm telling you. I thought I was going to win the race, trap everybody a lap down. But the thing is, Ryan Newman passed me fair and square, I'm telling you. And I was the one that screwed up, man. And that's fine. Just racing. And, yeah, it's the same thing in season two at Atlanta Motor Speedway. People just diving right in, trying to get new tires. This is the bad strategy call. Like, why would 704 guy, ugh, 704 games do a certain pit road algorithm? I'm telling you. Like, why do must the AI have want to pin? Well, the actual player actually wants to stay out and have enough fuel to make it to the end. I mean, I did two times tire wear and fuel in the first place along with, I don't know what other settings, but there's some that just favor the race for me, you know, and that's cool. And I know I'll just dominate the one and a half, one and a half mile racetracks. Just, just to show you guys, um, it wasn't that easy, so. And it passed current push. <laughs> okay. Let's focus, focus. <laughs> yeah, passed Daniel Suarez, put him a lap down. And here's the white flag lap, so. All I have to do is just not spin out. And I'll just win the race from there. Okay. What's it gonna take, man? What's it gonna take? Yeah. Cruise from three and four. And I am gonna take that check her flag and sweep the Atlanta race weekend. So it's finishing and cup at the same time. Congratulations there, Mr. Sandos. And my speed rating is 104, which is four points better than Xfinity. So. So at the Falls of Honor Quick Trip 500, I actually think I get an A plus for coming through the back of the pack and just actually passing a lot of cars. That's all. Look at me, Paz Logano and Kurt. Not Kurt. Kyle Bush, the candy man. Hmm. Let's see some of the highlights. Up 69, I passed Brad and Denny for fourth. And then I move my way up to second, passing Jimmy Johnson and I think Ryan Newman. Yep. Yeah, I, I don't know why Ryan Newman's that good in this game, but yeah, he doesn't really contend for championships no more, with the exception of 2002, 2003, and so forth. So, what am I gonna? Any final thoughts about how you felt about that race so far? Well. If you do, just comment down in the description below and tell me your thoughts about how you felt about this race. Which, sweeping at Atlanta ain't easy because of the tire wear here. But anyways, I hope you have a good day and peace out.
So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so click on that thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content, and if you have any thoughts or feelings about the most recent YouTube video you just saw, share a comment right below the description so I can share some thoughts and feelings with others in the community and make them feel welcome. So. I'm AKA Happy Carnot 957. Y'all have a great day and peace. Sir.